time you train back heavy and heavy rows pulled, heavy pressing the chest, your arms and shoulders take a bit of a hit. So in my mind, shoulders and arms should be a lot more contraction based, volume, blood flow. Um, just, I just try and basically get the biggest pop possible without loading my joints because they get loaded every other day. So we're just going to start with some rear delts. I, I've kind of moved away from pressing as well because I'm pressing a lot, because I'm trying to bring my chest up. I do a lot of uh, pressing with chest. I need to save my shoulder joints and my elbow joints. So it's a lot more isolation movements, a lot more volume. So it's working well so far and my joints feel great. Side raises now. Not really much to explain here, they just you just lift the dumbbells up to the side of your body. For me, I've got really big traps, which is cool. It's also a pain in the ass because they get in the way. So when I, when I lift that to the side, I'm trying to push my hands as far away from my body as possible. So just so I get a bit more protraction with my traps that look like this. There's a lot of people with side raise like that, and I'm trying to avoid that by pushing it away from myself. Uh, that's just the way that I've kind of got around bringing my traps into it because, I mean, to be honest, my traps are probably too big for me. Uh, they, they, make, they make me look like I've got no neck like this. Even my mum says to me, you got no neck. She's absolutely right. Four sets there of very strict non trappage we are going to call them. So I just hammered my delts. I'm going to, what I'm doing now is essentially a different movement. I'm going to do a big drop set, but I'm going to go for some real big heavy dumbbells and do a big drop set. And I don't really give a shit if my traps get involved at all because my shoulders are so pre exhausted. So I'm just going to basically just haul them up as best I can. Sets today, mainly a couple of reasons. I pushed the time a little bit, and as I said at the beginning, the goal is just a massive, horrible pump and blood flow. And this is a really good way of just driving the really gorging uh, the muscle of blood. point now in my career where the goal isn't just mass it's making the mass I have better and a lot of that is a not getting injured by lifting stupid heavy weight and keeping my joints healthy so but people throw that word refinement around but it is basically refining what I have and um, I honestly don't enjoy it as much as just training with a big heavy slag iron but it's a means to an end it's, it's what I need to do and sometimes you need to do what you're supposed to do, not what you want to do. And that's essentially what bodybuilding is. That's where discipline comes in. Doing what's needed rather than what's wanted.
done. Apologies that I didn't lift anything heavy or do anything crazy. Uh, I saved that for my other days. But, you know, goals change, physiques change. You know, I've got an Arnold Classic to win. So, I'm doing, and I said earlier, discipline is doing what you need over doing what you want. And yeah, I fucking want to lift heavy. I want to just start putting shit on the bar and push them steel. But I need to improve what I have. I don't need to just force muscle on. You know? You can't carve a pebble. So over the last few years, I've built a boulder and I'm going to carve into it, essentially. So, arms are pumped. Feel good? Time to go home and eat.